to a sight for sore eyes. Well, why? Don't you have anything to say to your old man? Why aren't you in jail? Boys. Let's not get off on the wrong foot here. All right, I come in peace. We got a lot to catch up on. See, that's where you're wrong. We have nothing to catch up on. Not with you. Go away. You need me to spell it out for you? You're not welcome here. Yeah, well, um, you know, this may come as a surprise to you, but I actually understand that. Because you and me, son, we didn't exactly part in the best of circumstances, you know. So, um, yeah. But hey, you know, people change. You know, they grow up. They learn to let bygones be bygones. Since when? Is he always like this? Maybe you want to consider getting another roommate? No, actually, Bobby's been pretty great to me. Now, you want to answer my question? You break out of jail or what? No, it didn't have to. The charges didn't stick. Lori got him dropped. What? How does something like that happen? The American justice system. It's a beautiful thing, really, when you know your way around it. <laughs> you studs got a beer in there? Hey, what part of get the hell out of here do you not understand? Now, Bobby, come on, knock it off already. I am trying really hard here. You know I cannot let you talk to me that way. Okay, I come in. I come, I come in good faith. You came because you want something. What is it? You want to take that one? He knows exactly what I want. I'm not dancing you. Cute. Is that what you really think, buddy boy? Hey, he's got his own life now. Stop calling him that. He's got a name. Yeah, that name was given to the little prince by his mama. And I never liked it. Yeah, well, there's a lot of things we never liked either. So why don't you get the hell out of here? No, boy, you can't put your hands on me. I'm still your father. A father who almost got his son killed for 50 grand? Well, yes, that's right. And come to think of it, you never told me where that was. Well, James, did you think I would forget all about it? I want my money. He's gone. No, I wouldn't be. The hospital bills after James got shot totaled over $40,000. And this is my responsibility, how? You sick your friend Bull on him. Who didn't shoot him. That was your little girlfriend. Star never should have been there in the first place. And I never would have gotten her involved if I wasn't running for my life, thanks to you. I want my money. Let him go. Oh, relax. You don't have to babysit him. In fact, you left him behind when you went out to be Mr. Fame and Fortune in Hollywood. How'd that go, by the Get way? Get out! You didn't give a crap about your brother then, did you, Mr. Scorsese? I'm gonna throw you out. Oh, yeah? I have to. Yeah. You? Then who else? <coughs> but, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, Bobby, 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 you really hurt, man. Okay. What happened? No, no, it looks like somebody kicked your butt big time. Who was it? I was fine. Until you showed up. So was Jane. A boy who steals from his father. Well, that is far from fine. In fact, that's just about as low as you can get. Especially after all I have done for you boys. What are you talking about? The beatings and all the... Th no, the good things. The, the ball games. You think I got ball games? The fishing trips? The what fishing trips? Okay, so there weren't fishing trips, but you gotta face it. You know, I had my hands full when your bitch of a mother walked out on us. No, that's not what happened. That's what you want us to think happened, but that's not what happened. You forced her out. The hell I did. Just save your breath. We know the truth. We got the other side of the story. Indeed. From whom? Mom. Mom told us. Mom. You talk to her. Bobby. She here? You stay away from her. I'm warning you. What a snow job this woman must have done on you boys, but then she was always a very good liar. Don't talk about her like that. Why are you protecting her? That slut walked out on you. Now listen, I think we should just get the whole family together and have a prayer break. No, I said you stay the hell away from her. Well, now let's just call it the wires here, young man. 
Are we focused? Now I need you to watch your mouth with me. Or else. Mm -hmm. You want to be a tough guy? You do it on your own turf. James lives with me now. I don't let anybody push him around. Push this. I'm just asking for what's mine. Hey, the money's gone. Deal with it. <laughs> well, that's rich. You think because I got off, he will? Buddy boy, there's people looking for you. And if they catch up with you, we could be talking grand larceny. No, you, you wouldn't do that. Yes, I would. Absolutely, in a heartbeat. So, I'm going to go outside and pick up my bags. And when I come back, I'm going to want to see a little attitude adjustment up in here. Right. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, I'm glad you asked. I'm... He's, a, uh, he's a friend. He's an old family friend. Is that a fact? Well, let me tell you something. Any old family friend of yours is a friend of mine. How are you starting? Is she okay? Uh, no, she's not right now, but she'll get better. Okay. See you at the shindig. Okay. I'll take it easy. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. What the hell was that? Are you ashamed of your old man? Is that it? That was Todd Manning. You almost got two of his daughters killed. Yeah, when your old friend Bull was here waving his gun around. I think you owe James an apology. Eddie Boy. He just saved your sorry ass. You got some fancy friends. With the fancy invitations to the fancy parties. <laughs> I'm your father! And I can get used to this place.